Hey everyone, this is Trang Janik, Realtor at Dynamic Properties of Colorado, and today I want to talk to you about the number one question that I get asked as a real estate agent, which is, how's the market? So slow your scroll because I'm about to give you your quick market update for the Evergreen, Conifer, Bailey, Pine area, coming up. Now this information is pulled directly from the MLS and it applies to detached single family homes, which are freestanding residential buildings not attached to anything. So basically this does not include information about townhomes and condos. For the month of April, there are 135 new listings on the market. And in the month of March, there were 134. So far in the month of May, there have been 38 new listings. The average days on market for the month of April was 36 days, which was down from 49 days in March. The median or middle list price was $518,500 and the close to list price ratio was 99.2%. So in other words, on average, people were getting 99.2% of their asking price for the month of April. The number of homes sold in this area in April was 77 and that's just one shy of March, which was 78. According to Zillow.com, May is statistically the best month to sell in the state of Colorado. So we'll probably see most of these numbers increase when we get the results for the month of May. I just wanna show you two more graphs. This is historic sales by year. The green line represents the number of sales in 2017. So you can see that the overarching trend is that the number of sales has gone down over the years. And this is due to lack of inventory. And this lack of inventory drives prices up. Now, this graph shows original versus sold price. In April, the median or the middle sales price, not the average, was $517,500, while the median sold price was $569. So once again, you can see that April was the month where sales prices began to exceed the asking price. And obviously May is yet to be determined, but again, statistics have shown that May is the best time to list in order to maximize sales price and minimize time on the market. So that's it for now. If you happen to have any questions or if you'd like me to pull some data for another specific area, please don't hesitate to reach out. I'd love to help you with anything real estate. And I'd also love it if you would follow me on social media. So thanks for watching and I hope you have a great week.